On this edition of Tesla Tips and Trips, we are going to test our CCS adapter by viewer request on an EV Go, and we'll see if it works. Keep it here. All right, welcome to another edition of Tesla Tips and Trips. This one is by viewer request. Thank you so much for uh, going in the discussion board and typing in what you wanted to see. They wanted to find out from our other video where we had the truth about CCS charging on Electrify America and your Tesla. Uh, so this one is gonna be a little different. It's gonna be using our CCS adapter on an EV Go station, and we're gonna see how all this works. So uh, we're gonna do the plug-in process, the payment process, all that stuff, and uh, we're gonna see how it works and let you know all the rates and how fast it is and all that stuff. All right, so based on user comments and a user request, they wanted to see us use this, our CCS uh, adapter for Tesla, uh, made by SeaTech now, uh, produced or whatever, marketed by Electron. So we're gonna use this on EVGO and uh, we're gonna let you know how it works. Now the app says connect and swipe to start. So we're gonna do that process and see if that works. All right, so we connect it like this, get it nice and tight, open up the Tesla. We are connecting, push the red button on the um, adapter and then swipe to start. Let's see what happens. Something's happening on the screen. It's a little hard to see. Although it's a little hard to see, yeah. Charger is in use. Oh, initializing. I hear something happening with the car. I hear something happening with the uh, charging station. I think we might be good to go. It's blinking. And I just got the text message from our car. It is charging. All right, so the process is indeed connect the adapter to the CCS cable, plug it into the car, push the red button here on the adapter, and uh, then swipe on the app to get things charging. So uh, it works, it works great. Um, this is an EVGO fast charging. Um, yes, of course it has a Tesla handle already, but not all of them do. Okay, so this just got started. Uh, so we're at 73 miles on the battery and we are currently charging at 41 kilowatts using the adapter on an EV Go. Um, and we'll stay here for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so and see exactly how much we get on, on a charge. So uh, there you go. Does the CCS adapter work on an EV Go? Uh, the answer is yes, which is pretty cool. Uh, expensive, but yeah, cool. All right, so we got an update here for you. We have been here for nine minutes, almost 10 probably by the time we're done talking here, and we're sustained at 43 kilowatts. It's it's staying pretty steady with this adapter um, rather than tapering, I guess, because it's kind of a, a lower state of charge anyway. Um, and so we've gained 34 miles in nine minutes, almost 10 minutes. That's not too bad. If you're on a road trip, and you absolutely need to use a, a different uh, charging, either um, ChargePoint or EVGO. This is not bad. I mean, in 10 minutes, that's, that's pretty decent. So enough time to get snacks and go to the bathroom for sure. So there's our update for, for now. Let's wait for it to click over to uh, 1010. I believe we started at 10, I'm sorry, we started at 1010. Let's click over to uh, 1020 and see where we're at on how much we've uh, added. So this is pretty cool. I mean, I, we've tested this before on the EVGO. We just didn't make a video. There it goes, 1020. We start, uh, started at 10, uh, 10. And so in 10 minutes, we've added 37 miles on an EVGO, charging roughly at 43 kilowatts sustained. Not bad at all. All right, so it's still charging. Uh, we showed you the update after a 10 minute charge and how much we gained. It was like 37 miles. And to unplug, you don't have to do anything with the app or anything. You just push like on a supercharger, there's a red button, just like a supercharger. You see it flashing green, that is charging. Oh, there you go. Don't forget your charger. You don't wanna leave this here. So you push the button, unplug. Always be a kind citizen and put the uh, charging nozzle back where you found it. And 
you're done. All right, now we're on the, across the parking lot. We wanted to get some uh, real charging in, and our uh, Tesla supercharger kit is going to do that. Okay, so we're across the parking lot from the EVgo that we were just uh, showing in that video, and now we're on a supercharger. And we're ramping up, and let's just kind of do a comparison. So this was uh, right after the EVgo charging session. We're already up to 74 kilowatts. And I've already paid seven cents. And already paid seven <laughs> cents. <laughs> 10 cents. It's expensive after 10 o'clock here. 14 cents. So it looks like we're stuck at 72. It's probably because of state of charge. We didn't precondition or anything. Oh, that's the other thing about um, the, the EVgo charging session. Um, it was actually kind of impressive that it charged at, what was it? 46, 47 kilowatts, 43 kilowatts. It's still impressive considering we have no way of preconditioning our battery for uh, fast chargers that are non Tesla superchargers. So it hit that 43 mark or whatever the video said earlier and it stayed there. Oh, we're already tapering here. So that gives you a little idea that um, we got a solid sustained charging session out of that CCS adapter over at EVgo. And uh, maybe that's what helps keep it fast. I don't know. It was, a, it was a pretty good charging session for the amount of miles that we added. So, all right, cross the parking lot at the supercharger now. Uh, we'll finish up our, our charging session here. Thank you so much for joining us on another uh, episode of Tesla Tips and Trips. Uh, next on the schedule, somewhere in the next coming weeks, we're gonna do the same exact video only on a charge point uh, charger and see how that goes in the process. And if you use the app first, if I remember correctly, it, it's quick. You gotta kind of have to pay swipe and then plug in real quick. But we'll test all that out and we'll do that on another video. So the next up will be the CCS C-Tech Electron Adapter on ChargePoint. If you like what we're doing here on Tesla Tips and Trips, feel free to uh, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And uh, we will see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. We just hit 400 subs. 400 subs while we're doing the video? Get out of here. Thank you even more. So, so cool. Thank you, all 400 of you. And if you're new, uh, join in on the subscription fun at Tesla Tips and Trips. Woo, 400! All right, so it's still recording. <laughs> Take two.